When is a hurricane a storm with violent winds? The moon hurricane also has wind speeds equal to or exceeding 64 knots, which is 74 miles per hour. Categorize on a scale from 1 to 5, 5 being the strongest. Can cause, con can cause or contain flooding, severe thunderstorms, or wind damage. Info for the storm. Power is still on. Visit www.weather.gov. Enter 02571 and look at your weather zone. Watch your local news stations for updates. Tune your radio to AM 101030 for news updates. To find out more information on your evacuation plan, go to www.redcross.org. Enter 02571, uh, quotation, Town Hall is our main shelter. There is a lot of areas where flooding might occur since most of Wareham is on the shore or on mark. If you live on any of the following beaches, then you're on a high risk area. If there is a voluntary evacuation and you are in any of the areas above, it is in your best interest to evacuate to the town hall. You should bring some supplies with you, with you like a change of clothes and something to keep you occupied. Food will be supplied there. Pets are not allowed in the shelter. Please make other arrangements for them. If you decide to stay home, you should consider doing the following. Secure your home, stay indoors, close all interior doors, secure and brace external doors. Stock up on sanitary supplies, food and water. Board up windows, take your boat out of the water. Could be, it could cause unnecessary damage. Turn off utilities if instructed to do so. Listen to radio or TV for information and turn off propane tanks. Shelter supplies. You should bring at least Three days worth of water when you're going to a shelter. Sturdy shoes for clothing and extra cash. Cell phones and chargers will be needed. <laughs> Emergency blankets for sleeping. Extra medication for, med for medical problems. A map of the area and a multi-purpose tool like a Swiss Army knife. First aid kits are good. If you have children or pets, you should bring extra supplies for them. Sanitary or personal hygiene products will be needed. Not non-perishable food, flashlights, and extra batteries. After the storm, do not touch down power lines. You cannot tell by looking if they are dead or alive. Check outside for house damage. See if windows and doors are intact. Watch out for dead or alive power lines. Proceed with caution. Find out from the local news outlets to see if it is safe to return to affected areas.